Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara and if you're new, welcome to the family. Today I've got another magical unboxing for you guys and that is Accio Box and today we will be diving into Hogwarts with our common room themed box. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. All right, as always, I will give you guys the first sneak peek, maybe? Seriously? All right, there's the tissue paper and there's your sneak peek. Looks like we have some kind of banner there on top. All right, get some of these wiggly worms out of the way. Seriously. All right, so here is our banner. This is Gryffindor's common room, if you did not know. And so we've got Brave at Heart. We've got the Phoenix. Oh, and look, we've got the um, Sorting House. Sorting House. Sorting Hat and the Sword of Gryffindor, the Marauder's Map. We've got the chocolate frogs. We've got Butterbeer, Weasley's Wizards, Wheezes, Headboy. <gasps> Ooh, we've got a little pygmy puff right there. We've got the Time Turner, Headboy. <gasps> we've got the Flying Cards, the Whomping Willow, the Fat Lady. We've got Hedwig. We've got Sir Nicholas's Death Day Party Hat. We've got Quidditch. We've got a broomstick. Oh, we've got Dobby with all his little hats and socks. And we've got Hagrid's umbrella. Oh, is that serious in the fireplace right there? Oh my gosh, here you guys, this is your close up to this. Like, look at that. That is so cool. I don't think I could want to put a pin on any of this. Maybe just like if there's like a big Gryffindor lion, hey, like I'd put that right there. <laughs> that is really cool so excited all right looks like we've got a tumbler of sorts with some instructions we've got a stroll and a lid and there we go that is what it looks like oh it says world cup Ireland versus Bulgaria, 1994. Hmm. Um, personally, I would have thought it would have been, you know, a Gryffindor one, you know? Because I was, like, really excited to see what everyone else got, like, in their different boxes. Because this is not really common room. But, Okay. Okay, okay, um, but I do get it, like, World Cup, it's in a cup, that is, I, get, I get that pun, but I'm not super crazy that it's uh, Ireland versus Bulgaria, I wish it would have been, like, a Gryffindor house cup thing, so there's that. Alrighty, we've got a box here, a white box little things little good good things come in little boxes all right well, let's okay so we've got looks like four coasters that say a cauldron uh, full of hot strong love selena warbeck um and they all look the same and they're like this rubbery material um I like the idea that this is useful, but I don't think Selena is ever mentioned in the books other than when Mrs. Weasley is talking about how much she loves dancing to the to her when she was with uh, Arthur in school. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's only mentioned like twice and it's only around Mrs. Weasley. Not, I mean like I like the idea of having Harry Potter coasters. I do not have any coasters, but I would have loved if it was like a real record of Selena's, like a, like a fake record, but like the record size, like that'd be cool. But otherwise I don't really get how it is 
house, like common room themed. All right, so we got something and all packaged up. Dingles makes if I know how to get into it. Oh, so we got a Hogwarts shaped like key ring like thing that you would put on your wall there. And that is really cool. I like that. It's nice and sharp. But I like that. I like that it's simple black. Um, that I think that, you know, if they had keys to hang up in the Hogwarts common rooms, that would be something you might see. Um, and it comes with little screws to put on your wall it itself. So I do like that. Um, this is something I would put up in my house, like for decor purposes, but... Um, as far as common room themed, I would have thought it would have been more like things you would find in their common room, not things that are Harry Potter themed that you would find in my common room, if that makes sense. All right, we got one more item in here before we get to the cheat sheet. It looks like a pillowcase cover with all the different spell shapes that you cast with your wand. Um, you know, I think I do like this. I like the, the it's kind of like that tribal print that was going around that was really popular for pillows and stuff. It gives me that vibe where it was white with the black tribal pattern on it. So that gives me that vibe. So I like that it's a little bit of Harry Potter and then um, pillow cover. But I'll give my overall thoughts after we go over the cheat sheet, okay? My overall thoughts of the box. All right, so we've got the Accio Prophet, the common room box. Some folks call it a living room. Some prefer it as a family room or a den. Or if you prefer the fancy, perhaps a parlor around here. We stay magical and have double R's as a common room. Whenever or, or label, whatever you label yours, this communal space is often the heart of one's home. A cozy place to enjoy time with friends and family. This month we've curated a fun, practical box themed around more magical touches to, to add more ma magical touches to this room. We hope you love it as much as we do. So we've got the Magical Spells Canvas Pillow Cover vo um, valued at $20. The... 1994 World Cup Tumbler valued at $12. Then we've got the Magical Record Coaster Set valued at $10. The Magical Castle Metal Wall Hooks valued at $12. And the house themed banner designed by Yellow Squibs valued at $20. Look at that. Can you see the Slytherin one on there? That one's pretty dope. I will have to like go back and review all the items that I've gotten from Accio in the past um, because I have really loved Accio when they did their like book one through seven. Now I have to think of how many things were useful versus like replica and decor items because I feel lately that a lot of the time it's more useful things versus like collectible type things and there's nothing wrong with that but I am in the market of looking for more collectible things to put on my Harry Potter shelves now I do really like this pillow cover I could see myself actually using it where sometimes I'm like mm, of pillow covers that are Harry Potter themed I'm like mm, do I really want to go that magical all over my house um, again, I could see myself using the the key ring holder for spare keys and whatnot or, you know, to make sure they're all in one spot. But I usually keep my keys in my bag. I usually don't move them away because I'll forget where they are. But I do like the idea of this. 
But of course, my number one favorite is the banner. I was really hoping for a pin that I could put right there with the lion on it. I'm not crazy about the coasters. Um, like I said, not my favorite item. And the tumbler I will be giving away, whether that is on Facebook or on Poshmark. I'll probably be selling through Poshmark for that. But <sighs> lately, I know that Accu has been wanting to give very useful items in their boxes and that that's totally fine but like I said I'm a I'm a collector and decor items for me is a very personal thing to pick out so there's a difference between putting it on my Harry Potter shelves and being surprised every month versus picking out actual decor items that will pull my house all together. I, my mom went to school to be a designer uh, to design people's homes and she's designed her house um, and she's taught me a lot of things about my own personal design and I'm very 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 picky about my designs that I put in my house and that I decor and like decorate things like I'm very 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 picky. Um, so that is where I have this like dilemma. I like a lot, like I like, I, I love this. I love the little key holder and I absolutely adore the banner, but with their kitchen box not being like top notch and me being so, so about Dumbledore, I loved their serious box, but Sometimes I'm, and their bathroom for, for the most part was pretty good, but I'm looking for, I don't know, I don't know how to explain what, what I want out of a box. I want some useful items, but at the same time, I want more of the collectible things. Because there are, it's just got to be very certain items that I would want to put in my house that was not in my Harry Potter room. And I feel like I would need to go with the flow. And I need to review Accio to see if some of those things are going to fit my, my vibe. Because I don't know if it's... Shipping is quite expensive for Accio and there's no problem with that. They're a smaller business, but only getting five items every month, it is... I don't know if I'm getting what I want out of the box, if that makes sense. And maybe I've just been so spoiled lately with the Lit Joy Crate box. I really enjoyed that. Cauldron Crate was fantastic. And the same thing with the Wizarding Trunk. Maybe I'm just like so spoiled by some replicas. And even sometimes Geek Gear has like these spectacular replicas that I'm like right on par. And I don't know, maybe I'm just... I miss Hagrid's trunk or the advanced potions. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so spoiled lately that I am can't see past just because I don't like one or two items in a box doesn't mean I should totally write it off. Anyways, I enjoyed over half the items in this box. I should not be upset. I don't even know why. So I'm just going to... So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help support my channel. And if you want to leave a comment down below what you thought about this box, if there is another magical box out there that you are just in love with that you want me to try out and I gotta get my hands on it, let me know that down in the comment section and down below as well. And if you want to see more of my face around YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.